Hey everybody, we are back again, this time with uh, an artist you should know. So, I'm Wes. I'm Chris. And we are Last Last Bastion Bastion Studios. Studios. So today we are going to talk a good friend of Last Bastion Studios, um, Mr. Neil Ewing. Mr. Neil! Neil Ewing, a man of many, many, many talents and a guy who definitely, I would say, puts them all to work. Oh, yeah. And, you know, a big supporter of all things comics, all things indie toys, like... He is such a cool, awesome dude and always in like other creators, you know, corners trying to push them and like encourage them and making cool stuff. He's just an awesome person to be around. Honestly, one of the most real dudes Mm -hmm. uh, I've ever met and a guy that I am uh, proud to be friends with and honored to have his art and toys amongst my things. So... Let's take a look at his comics first. Oh, yeah. So let's uh, hit the pink Peaceways Returns. First off, uh, the Peaceways series Mm -hmm. is these three right here. Now, these are actually the very first Neil comics that Mm -hmm. I ever read, and I read them online. He had them... I don't know if he still has them on his site, but he might have had them on his site. I'm pretty um, sure he does. For free, but... The Ballad of Peaceways, I believe, is the first one. Mm-hmm. Peaceways Returns is the second, and I think Peaceways Rides Again is the third, but it really doesn't matter what order you read them in because they're all fantastic mm-hmm. and you're going to have a good time no matter what. So are they kind of like individual stories that stand on their own two feet? Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Yes. So again, Neil, uh, purveyor of, an, of the indie comic world, he takes it and he gives you the true indie fashion, old school, like quick zine Mm -hmm. style comic Mm -hmm. for these piece ways. But also like, it's well put together. This is good paper. Well, that's the thing. He's very well thought out. Mm -hmm. No matter what he's doing, no matter what Mm -hmm. style he's uh, bringing it in, Mm -hmm. he's, I mean, he's he's a craftsman. So he wants you to enjoy what's in your hands. Mm And he's going to make it as good as he can, even if he's using specifically a different quality of product yeah, yeah. for a feel, for yeah. a flavor, for, you know, Peaceways is a very ridiculous story. I mean, this, <laughs> yes. these pages are this brilliant. Is, this it's, is amazing. This, this I'm this just flipping through this stuff right now, and it's so good. Dance sequence, and he's got them in a couple yeah. of my comics. <laughs> They're great. Oh, uh, these action sequences are awesome, too. I think I remember this scene from, uh, didn't, didn't he have a Flash animation on his website? Uh, yeah, yes. so he so he did animate. So mm-hmm. that's why I say yeah, he yeah. was, a, again, a yeah. man of many talents. Not only does he write and draw comics, mm-hmm. but he makes toys, yeah. he animates, he's a shirt, he designs shirts and hats. And mm-hmm. He's a sculptor, he's, he's a, a painter. He's a sculptor, he's a like, painter. Yeah. And everything, he does everything at a really high, high quality. Yeah. So... Again, Ballad of Peaceways is sort of the origin of Peaceways. He mm-hmm. talks about how when he was born, uh, you know, and again, he's going for a very particular art style. Neil mm-hmm. is an extremely good artist, mm-hmm. but he tailors his art for his project, which is also very fun. Yeah. Um, so he's... I love all this cross-hatching that he got it's going that he has going on. And these just thick speed lines. Yeah. For this like, I just like this, the speed lines for yeah. the knuckle cracking. Yes. You know? And this is something that he mm-hmm. definitely animated into mm-hmm. uh, his animated Definitely version, reminds me know? of the, the old manga like yeah. action lines and these poses and everything. Yeah. And I mean, if this is not Ronald Reagan, <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be damned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Doesn't even have eyes. He's just Mr. <laughs> Squinty. And then, you know, obviously hilarious references to to little things that you pick up in video games mm-hmm. and like Final mm-hmm. Fantasy and stuff like that. And again, you can see how he can go from one very detailed art style mm-hmm. to on the very next page. A little bit more gruffer and rougher and <laughs> gruffer like, and rougher. I, I like it. Yeah. I love it too. More 
nunchuck battles. He just shoots Dude, him. and then the, <laughs> he snaps it back into his face. These are so cool. Oh, that's awesome. Yep. Super cool, super cool. So this is the original Peace Ways. Here's your dance sequence where it's this a dance-off. so awesome. I love the dance-off sequences. And he beats him. Mm-hmm. Bang, yeah. Dead. <laughs> So besides, uh, what's the next one on our list? Uh, we got Peace Ways. So we got Peace Ways. These are the various yeah. Peace Ways comics. Mm-hmm. I encourage you all to get them mm-hmm. and check them out. And let's check out this next one. Well, we got a couple other comics that it's he's got. Freaky, Freaky Chili. Chili. Then we've got Solar City Redo. And then Planet Carl. Planet Carl. Was, is this Carl? Was he in the other comic book? Dancing around, or was that another crazy uh, Viking dude? I think that might be another crazy Viking dude. Got it. Okay. Cool. But I'll have to double check. Yeah. Now I gotta. Now I gotta reread the Neil mm-hmm. Universe, but mm-hmm. I like the Neil Universe, so I'm down. Freaky Chili again is in that style. This is black and white again. It's mm-hmm. in that style of mm-hmm. Peace Ways. But again, you see this like mm-hmm. very talented, different side of mm-hmm. Neil. You know, he can do like horror art. Mm-hmm. He can do that goofy sort of mm-hmm. comic art. He can do mm-hmm. that jokey like like eight year old art, like that really good eight year old art. You know, I I rest my case. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I like it. You know. Um. But he's also clever with his layouts. Like, he's doing, you know, this is... He's got perspective in these. So, again, this is more black and white fun stuff from Neil. And just a sample of his humor Mm -hmm. his Mm because everything is is very comedic sometimes it's very Mm tongue-in-cheek sometimes it's over the top sometimes it's very violent yeah speaking of like the the action sequence on this page is just awesome yeah just like going back and forth back and forth and then look at the different lettering that Mm -hmm. he goes with Mm -hmm. you know and like that mixture of like even the the cross hatching, yep, but also just on cutting the outside, it, yeah, which gives this panel way more depth yeah. without it having yeah. a background. Yeah, you know, um, uh, he's a talented dude. He knows yeah. what he's doing, and it's all mm-hmm. and it's all for a purpose. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. So yeah, those are the black and white comics. So then we've got we got a couple Solar of color City. Ones. Now I gotta be honest, I haven't gotten around to reading Solar City. Mm-hmm. Yet, so, but I have flipped through it. Let's just check it out. Ooh, that guy looks cool. See again, different Neil Ewing art. Mm-hmm. Man. This is the very sci-fi. Uh, I like it. Side of Neil. This is awesome. When did this, this one come out? I don't know, but this one I I haven't read, and I'm already like, ah, shit, I'm reading this tomorrow. <laughs> Dude, this is so cool. I love that the mustache and the hair is like a completely different texture, like t- different patterns. Dot matrix. But I do like the the one thing that he keeps constant throughout all the comics so far is that cross hatching and shadows. Yeah. And I think it gives the the shadows a really awesome texture. Yeah, it gives it texture and depth mm-hmm. to me. It gives mm-hmm. it, it gives each, it gives a panel a richness mm-hmm. where, like, just a blank background would mm-hmm. be very, I think, detrimental. Mm-hmm. You know. This is cool. I definitely want to read this now. Yeah, I know. I'm like, Neil, I'm sorry for not reading it immediately. This is cool stuff. Why am I sleeping on this? I reread all the Peace Ways. <laughs> <laughs> that is the way. Because Peace Ways is excellent. Mm-hmm. I highly recommend Peace Ways. But this is looking, this is looking like big time fun. Yeah. So I dig it. Neil can do it all, especially comic wise. Sci-fi, comedy, 
And then this is like post-apocalyptic yeah. comedy. It is a oh. mature comic, so there is a whole bunch of blood and nudity in there. Blood, nudity. This looks like it's Marker, right? Uh, is that Marker? I, th- I think the edge is, yeah, it looks like some Marker. At least he maybe did some paneling for the this part with Marker and then colored it with uh, Something else. digitally. We're going to have to ask him about that. Yeah, because hey, I'm this. This looks like yeah. marker. Why you got so many layers? To me, like he inked with a marker. But see, Dude, but again, you can do anything digitally these days and now. And but again, I do like that texture though. That's something that I really like that he does. Mm-hmm. He's gonna take the time to do a marker layer <laughs> and then scan this in and then give me flats. <laughs> you know, I like it. Because he's going for a very specific feel. He's a guy who definitely knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. And yep, here's where we get into. Why are we working on a farm naked? I don't understand. The mature audience part, post apocalyptic (laughs) world, (laughs) crazy creatures. Is that Crow Cop? (laughs) (laughs) Carl. The lady's got you, Carl. Apparently, and we got a bunch of pinups from different other people. Mini, another mini comic in here. This is cool. <laughs> Complete stylistic <laughs> yeah. changes. Yeah. For I like all of them, though. This is a lot of fun. These are artistic choices. Because you saw what he could do with Peaceways. Yeah. You know? And how it's a very different feel. Yeah. I like these guys. <laughs> Reminds me of, like, a Larry Clark movie. <laughs> My children. <laughs> yeah. Neil's... Yeah. This is bananas. Super fun. And I'm so excited to read the rest of it. Super fun. Yeah. Uh, great dude. Super talented. And uh, if you got a sense of humor, check those out. Yeah. Let's spread this back out mm-hmm. one more time mm-hmm. so you all can take a look. Planet Carl, Solar City, Freaky Chili, Ballad of Peaceways, Peaceways Peaceways Returns, and Peaceways Peaceways Rides Rides Again. Again. Peaceways has a friend who's a cat, and I love it. He talks to him. (laughs) Like, he drives his getaway car Uh at one point. So, oh my God! Sticking with Neil, let's let's talk Neil's toys. Yeah. So let's start off with Muckman. Now. I love Muckman. I got this one as a gift from mm-hmm. Neil because he's just a cool dude like that. Mm-hmm. And I had to personally buy this one for a whole lot of reasons. Everything about this particular figure is mm-hmm. perfect to me. Yes. The packaging, the design, mm-hmm. his hang tag. Mm-hmm. He signed the hang tag. Neil, it's I would prefer like you to sign the It's like the lemon and lime packaging that you find at your... Local supermarket. The netting, mm-hmm. everything about it oh, is brilliant. I is so I great. Like, I also like that it's a yellow figure. Yeah. I personally like to buy blanks because mm-hmm. I like to have like a one-off, um, you know, I like to get different people to paint them. Yeah. So I have this unique one-off. Mm-hmm. And I considered for only a very short moment getting that one painted yeah. up. But then I would have to open up the packaging, and the packaging is not relevant and, anymore. And you're and not a packaging guy. I'm not a packaging at all, guy, unless like, it's brilliant yes, packaging. Yeah, and this is brilliant packaging. This is this is pretty awesome. So, so to transition from his awesome sculpts, um, you know, we'll actually bring in uh, some of his other unique characters that he's got, and this is some stuff that I absolutely love the most. Is oh. that he had the audacity to make a Sofubi toy couch. <laughs> a couch. <laughs> a couch. So I know, here's the thing that I know and mm-hmm. that I think is brilliant. So number one, I think it's a brilliant play on words. Vinyl mm-hmm. couch, vinyl mm-hmm. couch, vinyl mm-hmm. toy, mm-hmm. all of that. 
But what has everybody in the world, well, maybe not everybody in the world, but what have everybody that you know mm-hmm. had in their life? It's a fucking couch. Mm-hmm. He made a couch. Yeah, it's the couch. A lot the of couch. TV shows revolve around the couch. People sitting in the couch. The Simpsons. Check that out. It's got his, his bottom stamp signature on that, too. And the texture of this thing. He sculpted it himself. He didn't do this digitally. At least I don't think so. That thing's great, man. Well, and the other thing that I like about it is it uh, is conducive to a lot of different paint jobs. Mm-hmm. You know, same thing, but vastly different. I, mm-hmm. I got to admit, I got his winter playset, which had a blue version of the couch. Mm-hmm. But I saw his white and blue dot couch, and I mm-hmm. asked him to upgrade it for me, which he did. Mm-hmm. And, Put some gold uh, shoes on it. I like the gold <laughs> shoes. I like the the blue and white mm-hmm. knotting. But he's done a lot of different couches. He's done a brown couch, yeah. a green couch. He's done a couch that looks like Saved by the Bell. Yeah. You know? Yeah, he so. just came out with that uh, 90s kind of clear inflatable couch colorway as well. It was like... Uh, like a turquoise or something like that. He's done a number yeah. of different couches, and he doesn't mm-hmm. do many of the same colors. No. So what I would say is if you ever see a couch and you dig it, grab it. You got to pick they, that up, man. They don't last very long. Yeah. So moving on from that, he's uh, another thing that a lot of people can connect with are pets. He's got this awesome sculpt of his dog, Coco. And the bubbies, the little doggies. These guys are so awesome, and they're relatively inexpensive for what they are. And he's got such an awesome sculpt on this thing. And the paint app, you know, he's got different stencil work. He's got overspray. He's got some dry brushing. And, like, the eyes. He doesn't forget the the nuts. He doesn't forget the nuts (laughs) or Mm -hmm. the butthole. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, the Sofubi does have a butthole, and he's smiling about it. (laughs) It's got nuts and a butthole, which I appreciate. He does a lot of these these bubbies, and they're all of his real dogs and his real animals, and I think it's just that much cuter that he brings his own uh, little pets into play. I love Clifford the Big Red and Bubby. And if you do collect one of these couches, you'll be able to put your bubbies on the couch. Keep their feet warm. Cause they're, yeah, their feet get cold, man. Feet get cold. <laughs> Here we go. Bubby party. Bubby party, and then you can have a couple of cocos. Yeah, just meat. laying around. <laughs> Yeah, I, again, I'm a big fan of all that, and yeah. and keeping the let's keep the bubbies out because that takes us to Neil's paints. Yeah, Neil does um, a lot of really cool stuff with paint. I'm a big fan of his paints, and we got a special. We got a couple of guest stars here. This is a toy by Ben Busy, and this is a toy by uh, Spumoni Toy Company. Mm-hmm. Both of them good friends of Last Bastion Studios as well, and talented painters and toy makers yeah. themselves. Super cool dudes. But we'll get to you guys on another day. But this is this is Neil customizing these blanks for mm-hmm. me, because uh, again, I, I love his paints. I love what yeah. he does. I love the different textures he goes for on this this bubby alone, you've got these squares, mm-hmm. and then you've got these tighter squares right here, yeah. which which I believe you told me how he did, and I think is a pretty cool thing. I don't know if I want to say that out <laughs> loud and give his technique away. So. Oh, we'll have to check in with him so and see. I'm going to keep that quiet, yeah. and people well, can bug him about yeah. how he does it. And, but, and like you were saying earlier, like one of the cool things about buying blanks is that you're... You know, you're a fan of one artist, you know, like like Neil, and you're also a fan of like a, another sculpting artist, and you'll be able to kind of collect something of a collaboration that might have not happened in like naturally. And, oh yeah. yeah, no, it's my own dream collaboration, yeah. yeah. you know, and yeah. uh, and I didn't, and I never know what I'm gonna get back when I send a blank to mm-hmm. somebody because I like to allow the artist. To have freedom mm-hmm. and, you know, 
really do something neat and unique. And so, especially with, you know, yeah. this guy, this rally right here, it's like, yeah, just go nuts. But this guy was a clear blue mm. um, Yeah, you skull. can you can see it at and the you bottom. you can still see it at the bottom. Yeah. You left some of that, which I like it. It adds a lot of fun texture. It mm -hmm. makes the... He didn't that... just cover it up. No. With like a, a, he actually uses the, the translucent as that other layer. It makes mm -hmm. the ass look like it's more bare. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's and, so naked that I can see through it. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's really fun. Mm -hmm. I just, I like his style of paints, these yeah. natural bleeds and yeah. um, things that he does, uh, like with these hands mm -hmm. and all of that. So yeah, guys, Neil does it all. Neil does it all. Toys, comics, animation, graphic design. The guy is a human Swiss army knife when it comes to creating stuff. Powerhouse, great mm. dude, um, fun guy, funny guy, and uh, you know, a guy that we can't say enough good things about. Yeah. Definitely check him out, definitely pick up some of these figures and toys, and again, like I said, if you see something, grab it, because he does very small runs and they aren't likely to last long. Yeah. And if you want to get him to paint something, just hit him up. Yeah, he's always open to do it, and he does a damn good job. 